I've talked to lots of people who've always wanted to learn how to play the guitar, but they don't know where to start. They figure they'll go to a music store and find a good book, but then they don't know what book to buy. Or they figure they'll learn online, but then that gets overwhelming really quick. Or they just figure they'll do it later, and then later never happens. In this video, I'm gonna tell you five things you need to know when first learning how to play the guitar. My name is Rob Reed, and welcome to your first guitar lesson. So the first thing you need to know is the parts of the guitar. It sounds kind of basic, but it's good to know. So this is the headstock, the tuning pegs, and this is called the nut. And these blocks are the frets. Fret one, fret two, fret three, fret four. And then most guitars have fret markings on the frets. My fret markings are on the side there. <laughs> and uh, this is the neck, the fingerboard, and then this whole thing is the body, and then the sound hole, the bridge, this is the brown piece of wood here, and this is the saddle, and this top piece of wood is the sound board, and then this is the shoulder, the waist, and the hip. The second thing we need to know is the string letter names or note names and the string numbers. So I use a little rhyme when we're learning the string letter names and it's every apple does get bruised easily. So from the top string down, every apple does get bruised easily. And those words have the first letter stands for the string note name. So E, A, D, G, B, E. The guitar is numbered from the bottom to the top, bottom string to the top, or the highest string to the lowest string. So string number one, two, three, four, five, six. Next thing we have to know is the finger numbers. Finger numbers are finger one, two, three, and four. Next thing we need to know is how to properly hold the guitar. And it sounds kind of basic again, but it's really important to be holding the guitar properly. So you want to have your shoulder over the hip of the guitar and that's going to hold the guitar up and stabilize it so that your hand is free to move up and down in the neck so you don't want to be holding the guitar up with this hand because you're not going to be able to move as freely so take your hand away and make sure the neck doesn't drop down like that okay the next thing we're going to look at is your first chord the a chord so take your first finger and put it in the second fret, third string or G string. Then you're gonna take your second finger, put it in the second fret on the D string. Then you're gonna take your third finger and put it in the second fret on the B string. And just give it a strum. So drop your thumb down a bit. So you wanna make sure you have a space between the neck in your hand, so a little space, like that. And you wanna drop your thumb down to cre help create that space. And you don't want your hand to be touching, touching the neck of the guitar, okay? And, a, and to try it record, just play through each string separately. And make sure you get a tone on each of your strings. So there you have it, your very first guitar lesson. You learned the parts of the guitar, the string names and numbers, the finger numbers, how to properly hold the guitar, and you learned your very first chord, the A major chord. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when my next video is up. And just for being here, I wanna leave you with a free gift, my book, Seven Tips to a Better Guitarist. See you in episode two of my beginner guitar bootcamp series.